We are at Left Coast Crime with mystery author Ken Colkin. Tell us about your book. Well, let's see. I have the most of my books are mysteries, and I got into the mystery genre because I was uh, I wrote a book, and a friend of mine was a mystery writer, and read it and said, "Oh, this is a mystery. I entered this contest, this particular contest." And I'd had one book out before with Viking Press that did quite well, but I'd had a few years where I had some and they had no more work, and so I I entered this contest, and it was a, 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 a St. Martin's. Private writers in America. Oh, okay, yeah, I know that writers. contest. So I won that contest and became suddenly a mystery writer. And then I began to get ideas for more novels with the same character. So what it's come to be by this point is sort of a historical um, account of California through the eyes of a, of a private investigator and his sons, one of whom is a lawyer and the other one is a, sort of a. He does a lot of things, but he also has investigated some crimes, mostly helping his dad and his brother. And I know you had a music connection in there, too, since you were on the musical mystery panel. <laughs> yeah, Tom, the, the uh, main character, was a band leader in the 20s, who, like my father, actually was uh, sort of forced out of the business in the 30s because there just weren't enough you know, jobs for musicians, so mm -hmm. he, had, he had to get a real job. And family to support, and um, so he then became at that time Tom Hickey became a, a, a police officer. Okay. Um, because in the reason he became that, he had a good friend who was a um, named Leo Weiss, who was a police officer who sort of helped to raise him after his father disappeared when he was a small child, and um, so Leo and another fellow that he got to be pretty close to. He was another football player in Los Angeles at UC, or USC. He, he was a guy that was Kent King Parrot that was sort of a, um, he sort of ran Los Angeles back in the 20s. Okay. He was the power behind the throne. <laughs> they they uh, sort of ushered Tom into the Los Angeles Police Department, but he didn't get along very well with Chief Davis, who was a real historical character. And, whose idea of taking care of, of criminals was to basically shoot them before they could do anything. Oh, nice. So he, and, and this was like, it was a very Wild West sort of place back then. There were 19 police officers killed in the line of duty during the year 1919, right after Prohibition. Wow. So anyway, Tom doesn't do very well in that atmosphere because he doesn't like to kill people um, uh, you know, as, as an executioner. So yeah. he, um, Ends up later becoming a private investigator in San Diego. And, um, uh, story kind of goes on from there. Okay, and uh, website? Uh, yeah, it's www.kimculkin.net. And since nobody in the world knows how to spell Culkin, it's um, K-U-H-L-K-E-N. So it's K-E-N. K-U-H-L-K-E-N. All right. What is one thing that your readers would be surprised to learn about you? About me? Yes, about you. Oh <laughs> um, oh boy. Well, I, I am. Oh, I know what. I am. I am the uh, the president of the smallest accredited college in the universe. Oh wow! <laughs> what <think>. college? <laughs> it's called Paralander College. We have t twenty some students. Oh wow! <laughs> and, uh, it's an online college, and we specialize in creative writing. Okay. And we have degrees in creative writing, um, a master's degree in creative writing, and a bachelor's degree in writing in general. And we founded that college because my wife and I were teaching at a Christian college, and uh, we, we discovered that, that there was very little emphasis in, in Christian higher education and the arts in general, and in, in writing in particular. And so we decided we needed to do something about that. So we founded a college, which was more ambitious than I would have tried if I hadn't sort of felt, you know, urged to do it and also uh, if I hadn't known what was involved. <laughs> yes, I, I can relate to that one. <laughs> well, that's great. It's called Paralander College, after a C.S. Lewis. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you for talking to us and have a great left coast.